haven't picked up this camera in so long since July when me and my man went to Charleston because I still have sand in my lens because we were at the beach and sand got everywhere. And it's stealing my stuff. But let's catch up real quick. So it's a new school year. I have not been filming. I just slack. It is September 17th. It is a Tuesday. And I was like, let me start back doing vlogs or whatever. Somebody might want to see that. Um, so yeah, this school year has started off very peaceful. I have every reason to thank God because working with my guidance counselors, I got people out of my class that I didn't need in here with negativity that didn't really want to dance, all of that. So really, it's just being peaceful. I got bangs. I just got a relaxer Friday and I had to cut my bangs because they had broke off from one of them sets of braids I had earlier this year. So I just told my hairstylist to cut it off so it could grow back evenly. I'm not a fan of the bang, but you know, hold on, JC at the door. Um, so that's that. Basically, this past weekend, me and my man went to the scent soiree that Brown Sugar Babe hosted in Columbia this weekend. I'm at the Brown Sugar Babe scent soiree. It's a line, guys, so let's go. I'm so glad that Brown Sugar Babe chose little old Columbia, South Carolina for the next stop on their tour of the scent soiree. I've been looking forward to this tour for months, considering that I got my tickets months ago. It was so beautifully put together and all of the queens who love to smell good that are from the country were definitely in the building and we had such a great time. They had some scents from their signature collections for us to smell and fragrances inspired by some of our favorite designer and niche fragrance houses. On top of that, it was just exciting to get my nose on some of the fragrances that I've heard so much about. Hey queen! Hey honey! <laughs> Honey, they gave us that little piece of paper and pencil at the door, and I was writing down everything that I wanted. They had complimentary wine and hors d'oeuvres, and the DJ was also playing. I smell the nectarine for sure. After all the excitement, it was time for me to go get a little snack, so y'all know I headed right to the little bar. We got our little exotic snack. I had a really good time, and I got a couple of new fragrances that I can't wait to review for y'all. And I'm holding it up like it's mine, but my man got the bronze bag because he spent a little coin. Thanks to Brown Sugar Bay for hosting such an amazing event, and I'm going to see y'all on the next one. It was a good time. I got a lot of new fragrances. I, sh I need to catch all up on my fragrances, so I may or may not do that when I get home. I ain't even going to promise y'all. But at some point, I am going to update y'all on my new fragrances. But other than that, I just been chilling and doing what the queen does but let me show y'all my classroom how we look right now real peaceful real classy real demure samira wrote that y'all so jt over there with lunch i don't know whose bag that is but it's going in the trash but i turn these lights around so that y'all can see me or whatever but it's lunch time so you see what I'm looking at? This new, this new iPhone 16 that's coming out. It's on pre-order, but I don't think I'm a pre-order. I think I'm a go get it out the store. But I'm looking at that and looking at the MacBook Pro because I want to get a new MacBook. I have a MacBook Air right now, but yeah, the Queen is in her teacher era, and that's basically that on that. Y'all know I ain't been filming because I ain't even got my tripod, but this is my little OOTD. These pants look like pajama pants, but they weren't in the pajama section. So I'm like, they regular pants, they just cotton. Um, I got this shirt from Shein. It says, God is testing me and I have not studied. And this shirt and these pants came from Shein. I got my hair in this little cute little clip that I got from TJ Maxx. Real simple, it's a hurricane day. Everybody that's from where I'm from had a little two hour delay or whatever. And I had to come to work because I don't live near the coast no more. And I'm pissed. I'm gonna have to go back home, baby. Cause these people got us out here in the hurricane. But that's it, babe.
So I'm at home now. I haven't been filming so much, y'all. I done moved and stuff. Y'all probably ain't even seen this apartment yet. But I told myself today I'm cleaning my bathroom. Because it just looks a mess. And I've been neglecting my bathroom. So I'm getting ready to new liner, new curtains, mop. And even if this is the only room that I clean today, at least I have gotten something done. Because, baby, something got to give, honey. I bought new shower curtains for my bathroom and um, new bath mats because this right here was, it's just not giving. Like, my other bathroom, the bathroom that I call my man's bathroom, it is so, like, looks like the carpet is, the, not the carpet, the bath mats are, like, nice and stuff. And my bathroom just look. So, I bought a shower curtain and mats on Saturday when me and my man went to the store. But I'm not, like, in all of it. Maybe once I clean it and put everything up, I'll feel better about it. But I'm about to clean my bathroom. And <laughs> yeah, I'm throwing out me some meat in the microwave right now. Because I think I'm going to cook. Y'all, I be out of breath all the time. I'm so sorry. Cook me something. Some spaghetti, I think. So let me get started on this so I can have like a dent done by the time my man get off work. Because he hasn't called me yet, I don't think. I need to go get my other phone. But... What is the queen telling us, y'all? Anyway, let me get to it, y'all. Let me get to it, y'all. Let me get to it, y'all. <laughs> Y'all gonna be the first ones to see. I am running around like a chicken with my hair cut off because I I'm trying to get some branded content done. I was hungry, just got off work. I'm a little hot. I'm trying to get stuff done before the sun goes down. Y'all know it just be a a race trying to get everything done before a particular time because I'm so tired today, like I really just want to lay down, but let me tell y'all what I got today. I finally received my order from Skin Potion. This is only my second, well, third time ordering from them because I ordered something from them. The other body butter that I have, and then with the second body, well, this. The second order that I did was for my man, and he received his like last week and mine are, they're just getting here so i grabbed cookie butter and i grabbed alma alma divina triple butter body butter i loved my i can't even remember what it's called right now but the one with the rose i really like that one so alma divina is the newest one well not the well, kind of the newest one i got the yummy so I'm gonna do a review on that one as well. Can't I love it? Oh my goodness! It's like everything is trying to take me out today. Oh, tropical, fruity, exotic. That's what this is. I can't remember the notes right now. I'm really about to get to the one that I really wanted to get to, which is the cookie butter. I wanted to smell like a fresh out of the oven chocolate chip cookie. That's what I'm hoping it smells like, but let's see. It's not what I was expecting. It's giving more of like a butterscotch to me, but it's still good. I like it. Then y'all, with fall coming, I'm trying to get my two piece set on. Like seriously, I ordered me some sets from Boohoo 
tall girl friendly, of course. And I've been having a time with my sizing because y'all, I gained weight when I first moved here. I was, I don't want to say thick as hell, but I was thick as hell. And then I lost all of that weight. And then now I'm gaining some of it back. Hopefully, I hit the nail on the head with these. Oh my goodness, the fabric is so soft. It says Design Studio. I got mine in a 10. So this is like a green color, a little dookie green. A little old size. And the pants are lightly fleece lined. And it has that Design Studio written across the crotch as well. I'm not going to put these on yet. It's going to really have to be cool outside. Like, I wore a two-piece set today. I'll insert a picture. I wore a two-piece set today, but with it being leggings and a pull-up, a zip-up hoodie, it kind of worked. <laughs> but with these, I can feel like, yeah, nah, babe, it's going to have to be cold for real. It's going to have to be fall for real. Not pretend fall. Not I want it to be fall. Not early fall. It's going to have to be fall because that's good. It's going to keep me warm. The next set is in this red color. We love red. And this one is lightly fleece lined as well. It has design studio on it. And it has like that varsity kind of, you know, lettering. I know they probably gonna be long enough. They probably gonna be too long. So I ain't worried about that y'all. And then this hoodie is a little cropped, but hopefully it ain't too cropped cause learning my how to dress for my body type crop does not work for me i have a rectangle shape so my shoulders and hips are about the same width apart and anything that's boxy or cut off just don't it just don't do your girl no justice have me looking like a box baby um i did get one pair of sweatpants the people ain't got sweatpants on sale yet y'all and i'm very upset about it I just fixed my white balance a little bit. So hopefully it's not too bright. But child, these are some sweatpants. I got these in a size medium. Usually I get large. Oh, yeah. So basically, I'm going to get um, the same sweatpants that I got last year. Going to get them again because my black ones that I had, they're kind of like faded. So, I just feel like I'm going to just rebuy the same sweatpants over and over again. But, they're not on sale yet. So, that's that. Um, I'm glad it's Thursday. I'm ready for the weekend. I'm going to rest this weekend. Like, I cannot describe to y'all. Tomorrow is a half day of school. So, I'm going to go to our district dance teacher, uh, lead teacher's classroom tomorrow for our professional development. And, after that... I'm going to be lazy the whole weekend. Might not even eat. I'm going to be <laughs> I'm going to be so lazy. But that's that on that. I'm trying to think of what else I can catch y'all up on. Y'all, my hair is growing back so good. I cut my hair in April. And I have been wearing braids like all summer. So I wasn't tuned in to the growth. But y'all, when I got my relaxer, it's coming back pretty good. I have no complaints. So... I was going to get me some braids because I saw this braider that does real, a really, really, really great job. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'm about to give me some braids like in October. But I'm kind of liking the real hair thing right now. And it's kind of faring well with my audience as well. Like when I posted my pictures over the weekend with my bangs and stuff, y'all, the people was liking and commenting and coming to my page. I'm like, um... Maybe this is the look I need to go with instead of the braids because the braids just wasn't doing it the last time. But that's that on that. So Aroma Concepts sent me these four fragrances right here. And I'm going to do like a more in-depth review of them once I wear them. I'm planning on wearing them this week so I have them on my perfume tray. It is Sunday so <sighs> unfortunately I'm gearing up for another week but um this is a fruity fragrance. This is like citrusy and marina. I think the name really describes the fragrance. So it leans a little bit masculine to me but 
I, I keep forgetting to read the notes. This right here, y'all, is brand new. And it is Kali Vanilla Candy Rock Sugar to the T. Like, I might wear this one tomorrow. I don't, I don't know yet. It's going to be either between this one or that one. But this is Vanilla Candy Rock Sugar. And this bottle is gorgeous. This is insane. And I also have Caramel Cascade. This one got beat up on the way here. But just know that smell still works. But I don't know if I'm going to wear Caramel Cascade or the, I think it's Kair Confection. I'm not sure, y'all. But which I'm going to wear tomorrow. But those two are my favorite from the fragrances that they sent me. So this is what my perfume tray looking like this week. I probably need another scent. But, you know, I'm probably going to double up on one of these because I really love these two. And this scent profile, like Caramel, Milk, Vanilla tonka bean that has been my scent profile like for the past couple of weeks i was getting really bored with vanillas but now i'm getting to the point where like i want vanillas in all of its forms i want vanilla gourmand vanilla i want woody vanilla i want dark vanilla i want queen vanilla i want man vanilla i want every type of vanilla that there is i want it so and i do love a caramel perfume so that's that but this is my perfume tray for the week and like i said a more in-depth review is going to come once i wear these this week this is my current perfume setup well one of my setups i have another shelf in my other room i'm trying to change these around because of the new fragrances that have been added to my collection i have some over here as well and so i removed some of the stuff that was on this shelf and put up some of my newcomers which are the brown sugar babe oils that i got last weekend and then of course my jackie island some of the flurs i had up here i completely emptied out this shelf and i put those eoses down there and a lot of these were what was on these shelves but i'm thinking about putting these into my other room what was supposed to be like my little filming studio or whatever so i'll show y'all that later but it's not done i ordered more of these perfume stands or whatever so that i can you know try to get this together and update it with my new additions and stuff so yeah but this is what we're looking like right now um it was really cute when i first moved in because you know it was everything i had but you know especially with this with the updates to my house of bow collection because they did send me all of these travel sprays and the bonbon and you know i got the gucci floor recently well i know y'all probably don't know that because i haven't been recording but <laughs> it's just been a lot of stuff i've been getting so i need to get it back organized so this is gonna be my transport bag i'm gonna transport some of this stuff from here to my other room and then we're gonna get to work y'all as you can see this is a lot of like bath and body works body mist and body cream and stuff like that so i'm gonna get it right i'm gonna get it right we're gonna figure it out once the stuff gets here i'll let y'all in on how i decide to reorganize these things so that's that queens it is monday i was trying to have a vlog to post for yesterday which was sunday but i didn't so whatever we're gonna keep on vlogging i'm editing so i got like 13 minutes so i'm gonna just you know keep on going this week and see i got my nails done today i was scared about getting brown on my nails but chocolate on chocolate girl what okay my nail tech did a great job i usually don't get my nails long during the school year but i feel like having longer nails this is not even the longest nails you could get but for me this is long because teaching dance you know it just be getting a little hectic i feel like having longer nails 
has helped me to slow down because I always get like cuts and stuff on my hands because I'm opening boxes and opening packages and stuff and I try to do everything so fast. I just had to tell myself, Jazz, slow down. Slow down, girl. Now, I just put a new screen protector on my phone and this shit, like, I just can Girl, I feel like it's dumbing down the quality on my phone. The, the screen, like, do they not make these HD so that the quality of the screen can show through on the thing? I got the cutest phone cases the other day from Velvet Caviar. I don't think I showed y'all these, but I put pop sockets on them, so ignore that. But are these not the cutest? Hold on. So this is the one that I'm currently wearing on my phone. It is like a cow print so stinking cute and then i just got the pop socket to this one today so i could throw this one in the rotation and that's like pink i don't know if it's the color payoff is showing but it's like a really pale pink it's not showing it no justice but look at that i love that brown on the outside of it and then it kind of has like this velvety inside chef's kiss i love phone cases but these are the new cases in love so by the time y'all see this vlog i don't know if this would have happened yet but i got invited to an event today that's next friday i keep getting invited to things and like the turnaround is like fast and that's cool and all, but I work a regular job. Like, everybody's not a full-time content creator. I want to be, but, yeah. I, anytime that I do something, I run it by my man first. Because I know, like, this is probably going to be wrong for me to say. But if I can inconvenience somebody, I would prefer for it to be him. Because <laughs> he got sick days and he makes money. So, it's not like he gonna miss money off his check if he missed some hours at work. You know what I'm saying? So when I first told him about it, he was, I thought he was gonna be madder, <laughs> more mad, or like, not mad, but like, I don't know about this, but he wasn't at first. I was like, okay, so all systems go, we gonna go. But then when he started thinking about it, he'd be like, you know, cause note that these brands don't ever, provide no damn accommodations they ain't paying for no flight they're not paying no, and then it just be last minute i can pay for the, the shit like i can pay for it and me and my man was just literally talking about going somewhere so i would have just kind of like skipped on that and then like go to this you know it'd be a good but it's literally next next week so I don't know y'all we're gonna see i i'd be really excited to get an invite but it's just kind of like y'all everybody not full-time content creation yet like all of us are not blessed like that you know since i messed up my freaking screen i'm gonna try to take it off and do it again i need to be going to bed but I could talk to y'all for a little while. Yeah, that's just that. I just wish that they would. If you want to invite me to something, let me know in advance. Because everybody can't just drop what they're doing at the, at the drop of a dime. I can't. Because I'm a teacher. And it leaves someone else to be responsible for my students for the day. You know. On top of the fact, y'all. Just to keep going on through with y'all. I don't have no sick days. Like, none. <laughs> I don't have no sick days, y'all. When I started teaching, I was sick. So, I got to take days. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm sick working with kids, y'all. It just be unreal how much I was sick. Anyways, that's just an update on that. Whether I go or not, we're going to see. After the initial like excitement of being invited wore down, wore down I got to really consider like do you want to get a dot paycheck and having to come out of pocket x amount of dollars for you know something or do you not want to miss an opportunity because you got to go to your regular job when really this is what you want to do 
I don't know. But anytime something goes on, you know, I have to run it by my parents and my man first. And my daddy and my man was not, they weren't really with it, for real. So, I mean, I got my own mind. But, you know, if I want my man to go, he got to be with it. <laughs> that's just how I go. He was just like, that's a lot of money. And I'm like, I can pay for it. That especially pissed him off. You think you finna pay for all of that yourself? My man don't make me pay for everything myself, y'all. So, I know some people don't don't have that luxury, but I can pay for it. I can, but is the man gonna let me do that? Probably not. So whether or not we go somewhere next weekend, y'all, y'all gonna have to wait and see. You gonna have to wait and see. But y'all, I have been updating my fall wardrobe as I told y'all before. I got these pants in from Banana Republic today. And y'all, I wish that they were just a little bit shorter so they would look a little more tailored. But I like them, y'all. I like them. They fit pretty good. I'm going to have to show y'all. But when it comes time to get dressed for fall, the queen going to be ready. Like I've been, like I been saying recently, y'all, because I got a video going viral. I have a video going viral right now on Facebook because I'm cute, y'all. That's the only reason why it's going viral. And I have some people, because it's, it's me showing like my outfits of the week for like teacher and shit like that. And um, some of the people like, it's just sweatpants and a teacher. And I'm thinking to myself, this is growth from where I was because my first year teaching, I looked a mess because I couldn't afford to buy t-shirts and sweatpants. I couldn't afford to buy sweatpants that were long enough for me. I couldn't afford to spend money on graphic tees, whether they be $5 or whether they be $30. Now, if I see a graphic tee that I like and that is $50, guess what? I'm getting it. I wake up in the morning. I get dressed in, not saying my clothes are dirty before, Lord, but clean clothes that I purchased because I wanted it. I can put on perfume, smell good, clean, look nice. I have money where I can buy makeup. I wear three different setting sprays and I can afford to replenish all three of these $30 setting sprays. So I am truly blessed and thankful from where I've been. Cause before, well, none of that going on. I couldn't afford to be spending money on foundation and all that other stuff but now something as simple as a five dollar fifty five t-shirt shirt from five below i can get it on top of other shirts that's more expensive so some people don't care and they just like you just wear t-shirt and sweatpants baby i'm proud of myself because at one point y'all my first year teacher when i tell you i used to look like a mother i used to look horrible I used to look horrible. How the kids say, no cap. Y'all know I got the iPhone, what is this? 15 Pro Max. I want that 16, boy. But I also want a new MacBook. I do want a new MacBook. I ain't even gonna hold you, baby. I ain't even gonna hold you, the queen, on a new MacBook. Editing these YouTube videos on the air, it's been cool, but I don't think the air meant to edit long, long, long videos like that it's really not i was gonna just go ahead and get both of them now but i ain't i don't know i ain't decide yet y'all i may or may not be back it depends i know my sleep aid probably about to kick in because y'all your girl i have to go to sleep i love going to sleep going to sleep is my favorite thing but brb it's tuesday and I just got some stuff in from Amazon so that I can organize my perfumes because my stuff is starting to overflow a little bit. I got this little two-tier shelf to put on my bookshelf of perfumes right there. And then I got four of these. So I'll probably need to start putting the stuff on this. But I can, I guess I can go take a look at it. Is the Wi-Fi better now? Let's go take a look at my perfume closet in the other room so I can show y'all it. 
This is what I have currently. I got my LED light up there. It's turned up high. And this is what I have right now. Ignore my little thing right here because that's just like a prop. So I'm going to start bringing stuff around here and then we'll see, I guess. Okay, so like I said last night, I'm moving some of my Bath and Body Works stuff in here. So let me set this up. She said, oh, girl, where you going? I'm redoing my um thing, mom. No, this is the Girl, my man called. Okay, so I moved this up here and I think I'm gonna keep the nicer one up there. Like this, I don't know. And then add the second one here like this and try to put some stuff up here so i'm gonna see y'all all right so i just bought some more fragrances from my closet around here and i started putting some stuff up but i'm not sure how i'm gonna do this yet so we're gonna have to work through it but i'm gonna try to figure this out I just brought mainly some of my mists and body creams around here. So let's see what I can come up with and go from there. So this is what I've done so far. I was gonna do all Arab fragrances up here, but I kind of sort of got a color scheme going. That yard just throw everything off. I don't know. But I think I might take the oils back in my room. And then I'm missing some of these. So I'll get that stuff around here. But I don't know. This don't look too convincing. I figured this out. And then change it y'all catching me in rare form i just did my skincare i did my bioma oil today so it's on it's an oil day y'all so if you want the skin you gotta work for it y'all so but i wanted to pop on here because i wanted to show y'all my keys y'all know i'm an accessory girl I love accessories so much and I was carrying my Steve Madden wallet but I was having a problem grabbing my keys because I didn't have like a hook or a wristlet or nothing on it so I got this little lanyard from Victoria's Secret and then I got the little wallet and these are my keys and you know, I got my keychain from when we went to San Diego for my birthday and stuff. But I'm gonna change the AirPod case for sure. Cause this is just, I don't like this. Cause this little thing be coming off and it's just not current key situation. It's a wristlet so I can. Y'all probably like, girl, you just be wanting to spend money. Yes, but all the little stupid that I used to want and couldn't get it, I can get it now. So if I see something I want, guess what? I'm gonna get it. I can't remember if I showed y'all my nails, but y'all, it's like they hitting even more today. Side note, what we talked about yesterday. The trip for next week is all systems go. I got everything booked up and reserved today. So me and my man going to this place next week. And I'm happy because I want to go somewhere and I'm tired of missing stuff. And this is like, this ain't my first time being invited somewhere by like a brand, but I've always just not been able to go. But I'm, I'm tired of missing stuff because I got to go to work. Other than that, today, the only thing I did was, you see, I got this case on my phone. I think I showed y'all this last night, but if I didn't, I'm going to put it in again. I just feel like it's just... <sighs> with the nails what i was playing with the ios update and so i put new widgets on my screen it could be killing my battery but whatever so i have my little animal pet on there the little pig 
and I also have the little widget thing with the battery and stuff on there so my second screen looks like this which I just have my UPS app my calendar app and some widgets y'all know what these four are but this is the widget like for my house and stuff like that so that's all I've done for now. This is what the apps look like where all the apps are loaded at. I got to get used to it and I made my apps really big today. <laughs> like I don't know why I made them that big. I like this picture because it's going to be me next week on an airplane going somewhere with my man. That's my favorite thing to do. I love getting on an airplane with my man. But anyways, I wanted to show y'all this. I'm about to go to bed. Y'all, I am super but my skin look good y'all i got a few imperfections but other than that this is what i got to do to keep this under control okay well i'm not about to go to bed i'm about to take a shower then go to bed please don't get a mistake i gotta take a shower first take a shower and then get in the bed and i'll see y'all tomorrow i don't have anything to do so hopefully i can come on here again and show y'all what i'm doing queens i'm up it's saturday i'm getting ready to go to the mall and do some stuff but have y'all ever had a, a fragrance combination that you know you're just gonna run slam into the ground i'm getting ready to run yummy and these vanillas slam out i started off with the eos vanilla cashmere i wear this like every day to the point i don't feel like i need the rest of the eosis that's just real the yummy release with skin potion y'all it's three different vanillas in this and it's just good i also have like the scrub and the triple butter body butter so good i didn't use this today but i mixed this in with my eos y'all a1 so oh my scalp kind of sore from this wrap so i'm a mere five days away from our little impromptu trip i'm really excited about it because we haven't been anywhere far 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 like airplane far since my birthday when we went to san diego so i'm ready to go like can go right now <laughs> i'm wearing a ponytail today i don't feel like doing nothing to my hair and every time i go to this mall it be so hot in there i can't think like i be dripping sweat i'm not trying to add to the heat it's like these stores don't sell air conditioning no more like is y'all cool what's really going on what's really tea it just be so hot in there i was supposed to go to this mall earlier because i don't want to be around the young kids like i was trying to beat the young kids there but after i ate my breakfast y'all eat breakfast at biscuitville every weekend well, I don't eat there. I get my food and come home. But I I get Biscuitville every weekend. I come home and eat. And after I eat that Biscuitville, y'all, I be having to take me a nap. <laughs> and today was no different. I contemplated staying up. I pondered on it. It was a no-go, babe. I went to sleep. Because, number one, I'm not in a rush to do anything. I don't have to do something just because I told myself I got to do it. If I need to take a nap on the weekend... I can take me a little nap. And then my thing is, is when I need to take a nap, y'all, I got to take a nap. Like, I'm not going to function right if I don't get me a nap in if I feel like I need to take a nap. So, like, if I would have went out anyway, even though I needed a nap, I probably wouldn't have been no good anyway. Like, would have been tired. I day. no, I'm not doing that. I'm washing my sheets. So my bed looks like it's made, but as you can see, it's just red or white pillows because the pillowcases and stuff is in the washing machine. Y'all, my washing machine was in there going so ham just now that my it was shaking and it moved my washing machine like my washing machine moved. Like, girl, did you even have to do all of that this morning or this afternoon? So I'm trying to scoop the thing back and it's acting like it don't want to move. Like, okay, you ain't got to tell me more than once. I, I get your drift, baby. I'm going to the mall because this week I helped out a lot of people and like money that I don't want to spend on myself, I always end up having to like give it to somebody else like to help them out or something like that. So I just feel like Jazz, buy yourself 
what you want. Because I will, like my man say, I want, I want, I want, I want something to do. And won't get it. I couldn't justify spending that much money on a purse for myself. But, girl, you work too hard. And even if I didn't work hard, if I want it, I get it. So, I bought myself a new coach purse. And I'm going to go get it today. Y'all, I... The people be asking me who names is this on my chest. Y'all, it's my mom and daddy. <laughs> I'm not a tattoo person. I'm not getting no tattoos. But I'm, I'm a bracelet necklace jewelry now. So I'm going to get a chain with my mom and daddy name on. Duh. Because I'm not getting no tattoo. That's just out. I am not very pain tolerant. It's hot as It says 67 degrees in here. Can't be. Can't be. Y'all, I be hot. What they call it? I'm hot nature. I'm hot nature. I got this bracelet from Shein. The girls have been asking about this bracelet. It is from Shein. Y'all, the one thing that I cannot stand about content creation so far is that people don't read captions and people don't try to read the comments before they ask you a question. I got so many people asking me the same question in my comments a hundred times and I don't answer the same question a hundred times. I just want to be like, y'all, read 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 people be asking me where the perfume from 10 times out of nine ah! 10 times out of nine i got a perfume wrote in the description in my caption i, I i'm not i'm not gonna gatekeep nothing from y'all like the only thing i be halfway gatekeeping is these damn glasses because i just feel like them people need to give me a cold all them people that be asking me about my glasses Y'all can give me a cold so I can make me a little coin since I'm people ordering glasses because I'm putting them on. That's just how I feel. So I got people telling me that they ordering this, that, this, that, this, that because of me. Give me a cold. But other than that, I'm not going to gatekeep nothing. Girl, go get it. Like, Ten times out of nine, we're not going to wear it the same way anyway. But this bracelet is from Shein. Like, I told the girls, go on Shein look a charm bracelet. And someone was saying that they don't they don't see it and I'm like when I was on Shein I saw this bracelet a hundred times on the jewelry section y'all I don't know how I'm gonna put this thing on like my man honey because when I tell you the only times I wore this bracelet is when my man was with me because I can't get it on I just feel like people don't do their research like people don't try to look they just want you to do all the work for them I did it y'all always make a miracle work a promise keep a light in the darkness I did I saw this bracelet on Shein just sitting up there before I got it. So I just feel like y'all it's on they just go look. It's like they trying to get rid of the bracelet. It's the first thing up there. Something recent that happened is I posted the red coach bag that I got, the rolling satchel. And this girl posted a video about how she returned hers because the color don't look the way it look on the website. Now if you anything like me, you gonna look up something before you buy it. Like the coach bag that I bought yesterday, the one I'm gonna go pick up today. I looked it up before I purchased it. I looked up the sizing, how it looked on different bodies, what you can put on the inside, everything. You know, how it looked in different colors. Just, I do a whole bunch of research before I spend my money on something. She was like, she returned the bag because the color didn't look the same as it do on the website. Now I will give her that because on the website, it doesn't look like the pebbled leather. It looks like like it's like a very deep red suede. But in the description of the bag, it says it's pebbled leather. And I posted my video about the bag. In time enough for if you do research like me, you, you gonna see what the bag look like next to a queen. So the people saying that, well, she said it don't look like ABC. Girl, I post, I got a video up here showing you what the bag look like in pictures, low light, high light, night light. Night light, twinkle twinkle little star. Wish I may, wish I might. It ain't no excuse saying you ain't know what the bag look like. Cause I post this is what it look like. I'm about to get dressed, so I'm gonna be right back after I put my clothes on. So for outfit today, I'm wearing this oversized plain shirt that I got from HM. And then I'm wearing these bottoms. It's really a set. I wore it for my birthday weekend when we went to San Diego, I'll show it in a minute, but I'm putting on another chain because I just feel naked. <laughs> My problem is I be feeling like if I took, if I if it's like a, a piece of clothing that's real loud, 
I don't be wanting to wear it again. But I need to get out of that because, like, girl, you're not rich and famous. Get over yourself. It's just I don't be wanting to take another picture in it. I don't know why. But as I'm finding my personal style and getting my little together, I'm learning how to style my pieces. So depending on the day, the week, the hour, I be done style my stuff differently. You know what I'm saying? So I'm styling this different. I was given um, Housewife of South Carolina the first time. You know, because I wore it as the set with the matching button up. And, you know, but today I want to give more of a, like, casual style. I guess, like, a elevated casual. Because I'm probably going to wear my Steve Madden sandals. And I wanted to have, like, a flowy look going into Coach <laughs> to go get my bag. So, that's what that is. When I'm at the mall, I'm probably going to go in, like, Minnesota too. And I need some shoes to go with the outfit that I'm planning on wearing to the event next week. So if I find something, I'll probably get that too. But, you know, I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do. So this is how I'm going today. I just feel like I'm giving. Oh, I need another bobby pin. My peas, y'all. My peas be out of control. Because I got anxiety, y'all. So I be twisting my hair. And I have... I used to twist this side, so that's the reason why I started getting like bobs in high school. Cause my mom was like, girl, you twisting your hair so bad, your hair is gone. <laughs> so, but now I twist this back part right here, but I got to stop doing it cause I don't want no bald head. Like I want my hair to be warm. This one I'm wearing today, you probably cannot see it. And I'm gonna carry this Juicy Couture bag that I got eons ago, but have not carried it yet because I done started getting coach bags and ain't been paying these any attention. So this is a coach bag I'm carrying today. It's like a plasticky kind of thing, but um, yeah, I'm gonna carry this today because I was gonna carry a little crossbody, but it's small and I do want to bring my camera today, my vlogging camera. And then, you know, I got two phones. So I need to be able to just drop my phones in there. So I'm going to carry this. And yeah, let me get this camera and stuff set up so I can start packing my purse for today. All right, y'all. So that's the end of this vlog. Thank y'all for joining me. And I'm going to see y'all when I see y'all. Period.